What's up guys, Eric from Bison. Today I have here a Lexus GX470 and I'm going to teach you how to get behind the radio and the screen. This is one of the requests I've been getting a lot. Finally got the car in so I want to take this opportunity to do that for you. You can use this DIY when you're installing a navigation and video and motion controller or a smartphone mirroring kit or even the Apple CarPlay Android Auto System that we're going to be introducing later this year. So let's go ahead, get inside and get started. Okay, now that we're in the car, let me go ahead and summarize what we're going to be doing in order to get behind this radio and also the screen. First, we are going to remove these two panels on the side. This and also on the other side. We remove the shift knob and then we are going to remove this bottom area piece and also that piece down there, which is going to reveal four 10 millimeter bolts that we're going to remove. So let me go ahead and do that now. We're going to remove the other side. Just all being held by clips. It doesn't take much pulling to take this one out. So you don't have to be too aggressive with it. Okay, next we'll remove the shift knob. Okay, for some reason this shift knob's not coming off the boot. So it's going to just keep it disconnected like this and we'll remove it together. Once this panel here is ready to be removed. Let's go ahead and mask off this area over here to prevent any scratches. All right, so now this part is ready to come off. I went ahead and opened the cover for the cup holder so I could grab a hold of this panel piece from the bottom corner and it's only being held by clips. Okay, there we go. Let's go ahead and press the shift lock and change the position of our gear just so we have a better angle when we remove all this piece together it comes off just like that okay while well it's off let me go ahead and also mask off the shift knob okay and then if you look down here you'll find that there's a lot of connectors all right you could go ahead and disconnect them but make sure you don't forget to reconnect it later all right, once it's out, let's go ahead and put this aside in a safe place. Okay, after that's out, there's a small plastic piece over here. They could just pull out, it's being held by clips. Okay, very easy. Okay, so after that's out, there's four 10 millimeter bolts that we need to remove. So, there's one right here, okay? And then, there's another one down here, right there. All right, and then, one right here and then also another one on this side that corresponds to the right one let's go ahead and remove all those having a deep socket wrench with the magnetic socket really helps all right so before that pulls out let me go ahead and mask off this area too just in case so we're going to be pulling this out before we do that let's place a really thick towel over here that we could rest on and let's go ahead and pull it out. All right, so once this bottom radio is out, all the connections that you need to install our smartphone mirroring system or a navigation DVD in motion is going to be behind here. So after this, go ahead and refer to our instruction manual for all the steps to complete the installation. I'm gonna be also removing the top screen. Removing the top screen is needed if you're gonna be installing our Apple CarPlay system or the Android Auto. So in order to get to the top, we are going to be removing a couple more panels here. It's going to just, there we go. Remove this connector that's holding the start button. Okay, once we do that, it reveals a 10 millimeter bolt that we need to remove on this side. Because the steering wheel is in the way, you might have to loosen without the extension, depending on the size of the socket that you have. And now going to the other side, we're gonna have to remove this panel over here. Just go ahead and just grab a hold of the panel here and just pull it towards you. All right, it looks like this bottom piece comes off together. All right. After you remove this, we'll expose a 10 millimeter bolt that's holding the top screen. Let's go ahead and remove that. Okay, once all the bolts are out, it's ready to be removed. And once it's out, the back side Looks like this. And our Apple CarPlay Android Auto System require you to unplug these two and daisy chain it to our interface. 
Alright guys, well this video was meant to just teach you how to get behind the radio and also the screen. And it looks like we did it over here. So this will conclude our video for today. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. I answer them personally. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thank you.